What are the secrets of supernatural supplies? Number one, what are the secrets of supernatural supply? Number one, love for God. Love for God. You want to enjoy all of God, then you must have a heart for God. If you want to enjoy all of God, then you must have a heart for God. Love for God is the heart for God. Love for God is God first mentality. Love for God is God first mentality. In the book of First King, chapter 3, verse 3, many of us thought the secret of Solomon's prosperity was because he offered a thousand offerings unto God. And that is where many of us refer to in that first king chapter 3. Oh, Solomon offered 1,000 offerings. No, sir. Look at the beginning. First King chapter 3, verse 3. Church, are you there? Let's read it together. Want to go? That's all. And Solomon loved the Lord. Listen, giving is born out of love. If you cannot love, you cannot give. Many of us do quote John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave. Until he loved, he did not give. Until he loved, he did not give. The foundation is love for God. When you love God, there is nothing that you can give. There is nothing. There is absolutely nothing that you can give unto him. All right? In 2 Chronicles chapter 26, and look, this can be telling you the examples of people that love God and they assess supernatural supply. Solomon was the king. Solomon was one of them. He loved the Lord. People of God, you want to enjoy supernatural supply. The foundation is love for God. You must have the God first mentality. In everything you do, God must be number one. If you put God as the last, you cannot assess all of God because you have not given him priority. Hallelujah. King Uzziah, in the book of Second Chronicles chapter 26, you read verse 5 to 11. Second Chronicles chapter 26 Verse 5 to 11, time will not allow us to go through everything. Bible says, he sought God in the days of Zechariah, who had understanding in the visions of God. And as long as he sought the Lord, God made him to prosper. That's the first thing. He sought God. He sought the Lord. And as long as he sought the Lord, he prospered. As long as your focus is God as number one, you can never lack anything. As long as your focus is God, supply before your needs come, supplies will be waiting. Hallelujah. And the Bible says he began to do so many things, which was born as a result of his love for God. Our master Jesus emphasized the importance of putting God first. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, the Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all other things shall be added unto you. Now, take note of this. The value you allocate to God determines the value you get on earth. The value you allocate to God determines the value you get on earth. Earth. When you give God your affection, he give you his attention. When you give God your affection, he gives you his attention. He gives you his attention for provision. He gives you his attention for your health. He gives you his attention for your academics. He gives you his attention for your family, over your children. When you give God your affection. That's why I love to worship him. Just pour your love on him. When you give him your affection, then all attention, spotlight will be focused on you. When you touch his heart, you move his hand. And the movement of his hand is equal to massive supply. When you touch his heart, 
you move God's hand. Solomon loved God. That touched him. It was that love for God that made him to mobilize all resources. Ah, Solomon in his heart was still thinking, this 1,000 is not enough because I love the Lord. And by the time he mobilized everything, God moved. Solomon, what do you want? Open check. What do you want? Let me give you. Funny enough, to let you know that money wasn't Solomon's problem. See, the list of your problem is money. Hello, church? The list of your problem is money. I have been in a situation where I thought money would be my challenger. But I noticed that with God on my side, one step at a time, we were scaling the orders. We were scaling the orders. Time may not permit me to share some testimonies with you, but we were scaling the orders. The orders in millions of dollars. Resources will just come. Help will just arise. Hallelujah. The list of your money, I mean of your problem, is money. Everybody around you, they are money. So you are looking for cash, you are looking for dollars, you are looking for rand, you are looking in the wrong direction. Everybody around you, they are money. Hi. We need to go into school of business so that you will understand what I'm talking about. Everybody around you, they are money. Money is kept in eating places. Including the belly of the fish. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. So you need to understand that the first thing is the love for God. 